Electric vehicle startup Lucid Motors may be new when it comes to manufacturing vehicles, but when it comes to battery technology, they have plenty of experience. Let's dive into the impressive battery technology that powers the ultra-efficient 500 plus mile range Lucid Air. Beginning in 2008, under the brand name Ativa, which is Lucid Motors' battery technology brand, the company was focused on building battery packs and powertrains for various other manufacturers. Even now, for the past several years, Lucid, under the Ativa brand name, has been the official battery pack supplier for all the cars competing in the Formula E race car series. So unlike most other electric vehicle startups, Lucid has quite a bit of experience when it comes to batteries and battery technology. It wasn't until around 2014 that Lucid began raising money to build their first electric car under their own brand name, the Lucid Air, which is now officially in production and the first customer deliveries have recently begun. As a reminder, the longest range Dream Edition of the Lucid Air recently received an official EPA range estimate of 520 miles on a single charge. As you can see on this chart, the Lucid Air Dream Edition is available in either a performance edition or a range edition. Edition, and the more efficient range edition with 19 inch wheels is able to travel around 4.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Also, as you can see, the Grand Touring Edition, which is equipped with a slightly smaller 112 kilowatt hour battery, when equipped with 19 inch wheels, is able to travel around 4.6 miles per kilowatt hour. Something that's really exciting about vehicles like the Lucid Air is that you can have an efficient electric vehicle like the Lucid Air, but it's not a slow vehicle. As you can see on this chart, even the most efficient Grand Touring Edition has very impressive zero to 60 mile per hour and quarter mile times. Now, when it comes to the battery cells themselves that are built into the Lucid Air's battery pack, like Rivian and Tesla, Lucid has opted to use cylindrical 2170 battery cells, as for the reason why Lucid opted for cylindrical cells instead of pouch or prismatic style cells, this Green Car Reports article from October 2021 mentions, quote, As Rawlinson has explained it in the past, Lucid's choice of cylindrical lithium ion cells comes down to the thermal attributes and the consistency and reliability of the cells themselves, as well as their predictable cost on the market. It also means not being bound to the design constraints of larger cells. In a few minutes, we'll talk more about the battery pack itself, which by the way, Lucid has designed their own battery pack and they currently build them in-house. But before we do that, I wanna dive into some of the characteristics of the battery cells that Lucid currently purchases from battery suppliers. In late 2016, Lucid announced a strategic partnership with Samsung SDI to collaborate and supply battery cells for the Lucid Air sedan. Then more recently in February of 2020, Lucid announced that they would be sourcing batteries from LG Chem that would be found exclusively in the standard versions of the Lucid Air sedan. So it appears like Lucid Motors is purchasing batteries not only from Samsung SDI, but also from LG Chem as well. Notice on this chart from an official EPA document that the 118 kilowatt hour battery pack and also the 112 kilowatt hour battery pack both have the same number of modules and the same number of battery cells. So if both of these battery packs have the same number of battery cells, that means that these battery cells found in the 112 kilowatt hour battery pack must be different than the battery cells found in the 118 kilowatt hour battery pack. They must have a little bit different energy density. The Green Car Reports article that I referenced earlier from October of 2021 explains that, quote, the Lucid Air is using 2170 format cells supplied by Samsung SDI in the initial Dream Edition, then next generation cells from LG for the Grand Touring model down through the rest of the lineup. So if you take a look at this chart and you do a little bit of math, if you start with roughly a 118 kilowatt hour battery pack that has 6,600 cells, if you divide 118 kilowatt hours by 6,600, that means that each one of these 6,600 battery cells has approximately 17.9 watt hours of capacity. If you do that same math for the 112 kilowatt hour battery pack, each one of these 6,600 battery cells would have approximately 17 watt hours of capacity. This could definitely help corroborate what Green Car reported that Samsung SDI is supplying the batteries 
for the dream edition of the Lucid Air. And the reason for the difference in energy density for the 112 kilowatt hour battery pack could be due to the fact that those packs contain LG Chem cells with a slightly different chemistry. Lucid is also offering a touring and pure edition of the Lucid Air but I couldn't find any official information from Lucid about the size of the battery packs or the number of cells in those battery packs. However, it does appear like the battery cells for the Pure and Touring Edition will be sourced from LG Chem. Now, when it comes to the actual cathode battery chemistry that makes up these 2170 cells, I did reach out to Lucid by email. And as of the recording of this video, I have not heard back from Lucid. However, if I do hear back from them, I will make sure that I put an update in the video description. However, based on my research and what I can tell, it appears like the NCA battery chemistry or nickel cobalt aluminum battery chemistry has the ability to have a higher specific energy density, meaning the watt hours per kilogram of the battery cell, than a nickel manganese cobalt or NMC battery cell chemistry. So I believe it's very possible that the Samsung SDI cells found in the Dream Edition of the Lucid Air have a nickel cobalt aluminum chemistry, whereas it's very possible that the LG Chem 2170 cells found in the other versions of the Lucid Air very possibly have some kind of nickel manganese cobalt battery chemistry. Do note that Rivian also sources their 2170 battery cells from Samsung SDI. And as I mentioned in the Rivian battery tech video, those batteries are NCA batteries or nickel cobalt aluminum batteries. And so that makes me think that maybe these are similar batteries to what Lucid is buying from Samsung SDI. Also, it's interesting to note that right now for the made in China Tesla Model 3, they source 2170 batteries from LG Chem, and those are of a nickel manganese cobalt chemistry. As you can see there in the picture on this investor presentation slide from Lucid, each one of the battery modules is injection molded. And for manufacturing simplicity, the electrical bus bar connectors are easily integrated into the molding in a single piece operation. It also appears like based on research that I've done that this bus bar design is not only a manufacturing benefit, but it also has some performance benefits as well. Now, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, under the Ativa brand name, Lucid has been manufacturing and supplying battery packs as the official supplier for the Formula E race series. Apparently, Lucid has integrated some of the technology from those Formula E battery packs into the Lucid Air. I found an October 2016 Car and Driver article that talked further about Lucid's involvement in manufacturing the Formula E battery packs. This article said, quote, Lucid will design and construct the battery and battery management software. Sony will supply the small format, commodity-sized cylindrical cells within and McLaren will manage the logistics and track side support. This article also mentioned that the physical battery packs will remain Lucid property and the company will have access to the series data. To be fair, there are some key differences between the Formula E battery packs and the battery packs that will be found in the Lucid Air. For example, the capacity, the battery pack shape, and the actual battery cells themselves are quite different between these two battery packs. As this Green Car Reports article from February of 2020 points out, the Formula E battery pack is made with cylindrical 18650 battery cells sourced from Murata, which was formerly Sony, as compared to the 2170 battery cells that will be found in Lucid Air's battery pack. So with these differences in mind, what is Peter Rawlinson really referring to when he mentions race proven battery technology? I believe in many ways that Peter Rawlinson is talking about the brick injection molded battery module with the unique bus bar design, the thermal management system, and also the battery management system that they design in house. As I've mentioned in several recent videos, when it comes to an electric vehicle, the thermal management system is really important for the overall performance aspects of the vehicle. For example, when you rapidly discharge a battery during acceleration, it generates quite a bit of heat in the battery pack. The same thing happens when the reverse occurs when you rapidly charge a battery pack 
at a very high kilowatt rate. Both a rapid discharge and a rapid charge event creates a lot of heat in the battery pack and requires a very effective thermal management system, thus a high performance electric vehicle like the Lucid Air and also one that can charge very quickly like the Lucid Air must have a very impressive thermal management system. When it comes to charging speed, the Lucid Air with this 900 plus volt architecture can charge up to a peak 300 kilowatts and according to Lucid, the Air can gain 300 miles of range in just 20 minutes of charging. And going beyond Lucid Air's claims about charging speed, when it comes to real world charging performance, as is corroborated by this Inside EVs article, the Lucid Air really can charge as fast as Lucid claims it can. When it comes to how the charging speed compares to the brand new refreshed Tesla Model S, according to Tesla's website, the Model S can add an impressive 200 miles in a 15 minute charge. And that equates to 13.33 miles being added per minute of charging. But the Lucid Air can beat that charging time with 300 miles being added in 20 minutes, which equates to 15 miles being added per minute of charging. So these impressive charging speeds do help demonstrate how impressive the thermal management system of the Lucid Air must be. As this car and driver article points out, the rigors of Formula E usage will also serve as a proving ground for Lucid's custom architecture for battery cooling. This article goes on to say, in designing a pack that's ready for potential 350 kilowatt fast charging, parallel some of the cooling requirements for race level brake energy recovery. Now, when it comes to some of the other details about the thermal management system that Lucid has built into their battery packs, unlike the current Tesla Model S battery pack that we talked about in a recent video that I put out that has a cooling ribbon that weaves in between each battery cell, the Lucid Air's pack is cooled with a cooling plate. This cooling method is often referred to as axial cooling because the cooling plate pulls heat from the terminal ends of the battery instead of the sides of the battery. And this apparently improves the energy density of the battery pack by allowing the batteries to be more efficiently packed because they don't need a ribbon weaving in between the battery cells. Based on a Tesla patent application that details a lot about the 4680 structural battery pack, this is how the 4680 battery packs will be cooled as well with a cooling plate. Now, when it comes to the pack level energy density of the Lucid Air's battery pack, as compared to other electric vehicles on the market and also Tesla's Model S, as you can see on this chart, the current 2022 Tesla Model S and X battery pack does have a higher specific energy density than the Lucid Air's battery pack. When it comes to some of the reasons why Tesla's battery pack is more energy dense than Lucid's battery pack, I believe a big part of that comes down to the fact that Tesla's Plaid battery pack only has five battery modules, whereas Lucid's pack has 22 battery modules. So although Lucid is very efficient on how they pack their batteries into the modules with the cooling plates, the fact that they have so many modules, 22 of them, leads to extra packing material and does add a little bit of weight to the pack and slightly reduces the amount of energy density at the pack level. Now, once again, when it comes down to race proven battery technology, we already talked about the battery module design itself. We talked a little bit about the thermal management system that is race proven tech, but I think it's also important that we talk about the battery management system system as well. The battery management system in an electric vehicle is really the brain of the battery pack and helps keep the battery pack operating within the desired operating conditions. The battery management system of an electric vehicle not only controls the charge and the discharge rates of a battery pack, but also helps control the thermal management system and tells the system when to send heating or cooling to the battery pack. Now, when it comes to the Formula E battery packs that Lucid manufactures, not only did they design the battery pack itself, but they also designed the BMS system that controls that battery pack. Thus, since Lucid Motors was able to design, implement, and engineer a battery management system that works well with a race car, it gives me confidence that the battery management system found in the Lucid Air itself is also equally impressive. Now there's one last battery comparison topic that I wanna discuss, and that's the actual warranty of the Lucid Air's battery. As you can see on this chart, Lucid currently warranties their battery packs for the Air sedan for eight years or 100,000 miles, whichever comes first. Tesla, on the other hand, offers an eight year, 150,000 mile warranty for the Model S and the Model X, and Rivian offers an eight year, 175,000 mile battery warranty. 
So really to wrap all this up, I'm really excited to see another EV manufacturer besides Tesla that has impressive engineering talent and great electric vehicle designs. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Please let me know what you think about the Lucid Air and the Lucid Air battery technology. Once again, I want to remind you to go over to cleanerwatt.com if you have not already and check out the 2022 electric SUV buyer's guide that can be purchased in a digital format and instantly downloaded. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.